Ask Reddit by Suspicious Drive 6655. Which celebrity's career is basically over? R. Kelly. Don't see a comeback album on the way. Ironically, the very last single he released was called, No Problems. In capital letters. Alison Mack. She just has to rebrand herself. I was expecting this to be full of interesting celebrities I had long forgotten about, but instead this is just a depressing list of garbage humans. I mean, that's mostly how careers end. That or tremendous flops. Celine Dunn. My understanding is that she's suffering from neurological issues and is seriously looking at retirement. I didn't know that. That's really sad. That curly headed guy was on 70s show. Guess he's been toast for a while. Yeah Daniel Masterson is garbage. Bill Cosby. He's America's dad. Sure mixed up strong drinks. There's so much to unpack there. Carlos Mencia. He still tours, but it's basically over. His dick don't work, man. He got no dick, man. Jussie Smollett. Subway, sandwiches? Surprised nobody mentioned Aaron Carter. What are you talking about? Aaron is still performing live on tour in front of tens of people. Not that he had much of a career pre-allegation, on top of which he took a plea, but I would think Drake Bell's career is pretty toasted. Edit, spelling. What did Drake do? Damn I missed it. Steven Seagal. He can always keep making blues albums noting how me want the poo nanny. You all remember Emil Hirsch could have been a superstar and then he strangled a female studio exec. He still works but does a lot of voiceover and small potato stuff. The dude could have been a superstar but blew it. Someone may give him a break similar to Shia but he is gonna need to pull a Mickey Rourke wrestler style comeback. He strangled a female studio exec. WTF. Ezra Miller. Fastest one too. And Edic. This honestly needs no explanation. His career has basically become about how universally hated he is. Bam Margera. I used to look up to the guy I skated because of him, watch Jackass for him and loved CKY because of him. Now I just cringe at everything he's become. On a recent video from Steve O's YouTube. He had Bam on and discussed the fact that even after Bam was fired from Jackass Forever, everyone rallied together, largely led by Steve-O, and fought for him to be led back in. So they were leaning toward letting him back in and set up a Zoom meeting with Tremaine, Knoxville, and Spike to discuss it all with Bam. Bam didn't show up. Army Cannibal Hammer. What a waste of a solid wrestler name. Has anyone heard from Chris Tucker after Rush Hour 3? It's not because he is some controversial person, he basically chose not to. Except now that he's in some financial trouble. Cassandra Alex Kamal, ship's pilot, from the Expanse series. He was on a reasonably popular series that could be used as a springboard to bigger things but was fired for basically being a horrible person. Even though there was a full season left and it was based on a book series, they just killed the character so the rest of the cast no longer had to work with him. It wasn't the cast as much as the crew, from what I understand. Sexual harassment. Everyone loves a good comeback story. But Army Hammer is going to sell timeshares for the rest of his life. So much for more Man From Uncle movies. Ellen DeGeneres and Wendy Williams. Be kind. Either of Diane Ward. It's quite impressive how many people they've pissed off and how badly they've fucked their careers up. Plus Cini's allegations against Ninja were both extremely verifiable, 
She literally had all the texts. And extremely awful. Kevin Spacey. I guess technically he is still getting work but he will never work in Hollywood again. Mason Greenwood. If you're a 29 year old athlete with nothing to show for your career and a Netflix documentary, you fucked up bro. I'm looking at you Johnny Manziel. Dude could walk into any bar or restaurant in College Station and never pay for anything for the rest of his life. He's going to end up opening a car dealership down there. Prime market between new grads and new E4S. Deleted. He keeps coming back like the fucking plague. I swear he waits a few years and starts making videos again pretending like nothing happened Lomeo. OJ Simpson. Hey cut the juice some slack. He's been busy looking for Nicole's real killer for 25 years, while golfing all the time. Not Brendan Fraser's that's for sure. He's finally coming back and I'm so happy for him. Guy is a gem. The fact that Lori Loughlin's college admissions scandal name wasn't mentioned means that her career is already over. I thought she was set to make her whole mark come back now that her prison sentence was over. Tibuscus. Oh I haven't heard anything about him in a long time. Thought he faded into obscurity. Mind sharing some source about what happened to cause his career to fade? Jacob Sartorius. Baby Ariel. And prob any famous person who got famous on musical Lyle Vine. Peaking so early in life must fuck you up. 